Hey there everyone and welcome back to the WordPress series. Now in this video we are going to talk about the categories and the tags. So if you'll go on to the post you'll hover over it and you'll see there are two tabs here apart from all post and add new which are which says categories as well as the tags. Now just on to a side note let me just click on the post and just go back on to our only single post that we have written so far and you can see there is a tab which says categories as well as tags and if you'll go in here uh, into the categories you can see all the categories here as well now before we talk and discuss about what is category and what are post and how they are different it is very important to understand the essential concept uh, that brings up with this WordPress. Now, internet is an amazing thing, but it's not well arranged. And the reason that it's not being so much well arranged, uh, this is probably the reason why the search engine like Google, YouTube, and uh, maybe Yahoo, or in case you use it, Bing, are so much popular because internet is not well arranged uh, but it has a plethora of information and everybody wants to get a sorted and filtered out information coming back on to the point which is related to the category now since you are already into the wordpress maybe you want to host a wordpress blog for yourself or maybe for a client eventually tons of content will be coming up onto the wordpress website and the classic mistake that most of the beginner does is not thinking much about how this data is going to be arranged. This should be prepared in advance. So whether you are working for a client or for your personal use, make sure you understand that this arrangement of how the data will be arranged needs to be done right now at the time where you are setting up a blog for somebody or maybe for yourself. Okay. And this is where the categories and the tags pops up. Now categories. You might have seen the categories as a simple example on the news website. Uh, the news actually are categorized onto a website like in a really nice manner. There are technical, technological corner, uh, there is a political corner, there is a science invention corner, there is a sports corner. And the sports you have being further divided as like uh, cricket news, uh, basketball news and football news. So these are all categories. Uh, but there are sometimes tags also being used like for example in the technical world uh, if i want to see all the things which are related to machine learning now machine learning can or cannot be a specific category but there are other other posts that can use uh, some ways of uh, machine learning in that case the tags can be used uh, but yes in most of the cases you will be using categories i'll talk a little bit more about uh, these tags in a minute but first of all let's try to get uh, how you can add a tags and something now, what I recommend is uh, you can grab the tags uh, anywhere, maybe in the post directly or in the category section here. So I recommend to give, up, give it up a category directly in the category section. So for example, let's just say you are building up a news website and there will be many news. Let's just call this as uh, sports uh, news. Okay. And you can also give a URL friendly slug to it. Like for example, I would be giving it uh, something like sports dash news. Uh, uh, this is how you you go with that and it says it is usually all lowercase and contains only letter numbers and hyphens so this is important make sure this is something which is url friendly now again uh, there are a couple of inform in important information here uh, first of all we are not setting any uh, categories here okay uh, i'll talk about that in a second uh, for the description i'm just writing a test description here now most of the themes as in 2017 and 18 uh, doesn't really support the description even going on to the home page but your theme may be so make sure you don't write a test or anything like that either leave it a blank or just write a couple of words which are relevant to the category okay so let's just add this category so we can see now we have a category which says sports okay nice uh, what is the big deal here now another big deal comes up when there is a further category maybe uh, in the sports I want to have cricket uh, although I'm a big fan of basketball but maybe uh, just for some reason I want to use a cricket here and there's a cricket now you can also select your parent for this category so this can be arranged further like a hierarchical uh, content of information like uh, there is a sports then further cricket then a basketball and some information so in this case I want to make it a, a parent as sports news so sports news will act as a parent and further in the child we will have a cricket so I'm going to add this category here and this is how it looks okay so this is how it goes now uh what will be the difference here let me just go on to uh just save these things and go to the all post and going back to this guy now what will happen if you'll check the cricket here uh 
it will be available in the cricket section uh, as well as in the sports section uh, but things which are in the sports section doesn't necessarily be there in the cricket section a little bit confusing i do understand that uh, but make sure if you are checking this like subcategory of that make sure you check mark of this as well because Technically speaking, uh, from the content uh, managing perspective, if something is there in the cricket section, it should also be there in the sports section. But uh, the reverse is not true. It can be in the sports section, might not be in the cricket section. Okay, it might be in other some section. But yes, arrangement of these things at a starting level is really, really appreciated. Now, one thing uh, that usually I also forget and I don't recommend that is uh, deleting this un uncategorized. Maybe give it some better name uh, like uh, rest of the others or maybe general or something. But uncategorized is not something really good. So make sure you delete it as quickly as possible. So this is all something related about categories. Now let's move on to the tags. So tags are here. Uh, these are comma separated and you can have uh, tabs uh, like cricket and you can have like sports and all these tags you can add them now one thing that you should keep in mind about the tags is uh, they are case sensitive so cricket with a smaller c and cricket uh, with uh, the capital c are two different tags not a good idea to have them uh, but really totally on you i usually prefer that all the tags should be lowercase but completely my preference uh, if you are having like mixed cases or something make sure you do keep in mind that they are case sensitive and they're going to be different now the last thing that i wanted to discuss in this video is make sure that you don't overdo the tags this is a common mistake a uh, lot of people just for the sake of seo purposes just stuff a lot of tags which is completely bad and bizarre and search engine have their uh, like own criteria of uh, kind of a uh, ignore those websites which are unnecessarily stuffing the tags there it is not at all a good idea okay so make sure you keep the tags precise i usually prefer at max of uh, five tags uh, in the blog whatever i'm writing but again depends on you your subject might be a little bit vague than that uh, but again make sure you don't overdo anything now again uh, going back into the tag stuff uh, you can also click on the tags and can actually uh, just add these tags and all these things here i don't use the tag thing actually directly here i just use it only for uh, categories for the tags i usually go with the post as the post also suggests you for the previously used uh, tags there okay so this was a quick uh, introduction about how the categories or tags should be used and again i always always uh, really give a lot of stress in planning out before you roll out your website so make sure categories at least are sorted out before launching a content obviously there is going to be a lot of content if you are going through with the wordpress maybe for yourself or maybe for the client it's going to be there so that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one